Thank you. <laughs> Welcome at home. We had a couple of letters last series about the names of some of the scores you can get on the dartboard. Like double one, that's called Annie's Room. And, and there's all sorts of different names. There's also, uh, in some parts of the country, call it Madhouse, Jim. What? <laughs> double one? Do they really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, that's... Is it Jim anymore? Well, yeah, um, Somerset, uh, yeah. five straight doubles. That's Oliver Reed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's correct. Huh? And in but, Yorkshire... Is that near Oswestry? <laughs> it's not far away. Huh? Not Yorkshire. No? It's Shropshire, that. Yeah. Uh, Yorkshire, there's one a good one there. Uh, score under 16. Bill Wyman. <laughs> hey, hey, see, you're thinking, you're thinking, aren't you? Hey, we have a local one around here, you know. What's that one? In yeah? Nottingham, yes. Yeah. If you get a load of bulls, yeah, pull it to the green. <laughs> I don't think I like that one, Jim. Listen, we're going to start sulking. I'm going to meet the contestants. Yeah. All right, please All right. yourself. <laughs> hey, how are you, Pat? Nice oh, to Jim. see you. Hi, Andre. Welcome to Nottingham. Nice to see you. Both from Doncaster. Oh, I know Johnny well. What do you do for a living, Pat? I'm a pipe fitter, Jim. Pipe fitter? Yeah. That means you fit them, in, fit them to the miles, you mean? No, 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 no. No? Uh, power oh. station boilers. Oh, right. <laughs> nice to see you, Andre. Welcome down here to Nottingham. Your job, sir? Um, unemployed at the moment, but I'm a ground engineer. Now, tell me what that, that, what's a ground engineer? Well, basically, it's filling uh, unwanted holes into the ground with concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Ground engineer. <laughs> Filling holes in. <laughs> see you later. Have a good night. How are you, Dave? Nice doing? to see you. Hi, Chico. How are you? How are you? I was, I've got to say to you, Tom, I was extremely surprised about this because these two lads are from Carnforth. Crap, whereabouts do you live in Carnforth, Dave? I live just, yeah, I live just outside Carnforth in Wharton. <laughs> What's this about Chico saying you're a bad loser? I don't know. You'll have to ask him about that. <laughs> right, well, listen, I'm going to do that. Chico McQueen, obviously, nicknamed Chico, isn't it? Yeah. Is, uh, uh, and you're a charge hand. Yeah. Where do you work, sir? He's on the local council. And you're a St. Helens fan? Well, yeah, I like St. Helens, yeah. Uh, Why is he a bad... Tell us, Chico, why is he a bad loser? Well, we have a, a good side at Wild Bolton Sands. I know you, know you do, I know. We seem to win everything every year, and these lads usually come second. Mm. And when we see his stuff on, it's... Uh, does he get a bit like unpleasant? It. No. He does have to a bit, he goes off sulking, you see, does so... Uh, <laughs> I'm no time for that. I have to give him a ring afterwards. <laughs> take your bat home, man. I'm not playing. You used to do that at home. If I can't, I'm taking my ball home. You used to do that. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Have a good night. How are you, David? All right, Jim. Lennon. Nice to see you. How are you, Reese? Oh, Listen, I'm not, I don't need to ask. Where are you from? I'm from Acox Green, Birmingham. Acox Green. <laughs> and it's, it's father and son. Yeah, and, right, well, look, look, look into two there, the pair of you. Can you get the two of them? <laughs> look at that, eh? <laughs> eh? What about <laughs> that? <laughs> Joe. You're an electrician? Yes. And, and you're a gardener. What do you grow? Well, I'm not too keen on gardener, but concrete mainly, Jim. You know, I've <laughs> slapped it all over. <laughs> 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 you, you grow concrete then? Yes, right. Ah, very good. <laughs> Give him a nice warm round of applause. Six great contestants. Have a good night. Well done. See you later. Oh, good night. Good night, 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 and let's begin this edition of Bullseye by telling you questions in the first round. You know, £30 each. We'll play the game. Pat, choose a subject for Andre. Faces, please, Jim. All right, sir. Come on. Here we go, Andre. Faces. OK, Andre. That's in books, Jim. Books? Have no a... bonus. But here's your question on books for £30. Nothing serious at this stage, uh, Pat. Here we go. Books. A year in Provence has been on the best-sellers list for over three years and was televised by the BBC. Who wrote it? Sorry, I don't know, Jim. Right, the lights will come on and we're looking for a, for a buzzer. We thought that was fairly easy. In fact, it was Peter Mayle, M-A-Y-L-E, Peter Mayle. We move on and we ask Dave to choose a subject for Chico. Spelling, please, Jim. Yes, sir. Chico, spelling. No, it's in places, Jim. Went for bullseye there. Places. The boys are going for ball quite rightly at this stage. Here we go. No bonus, but for £30, Dave, can you tell me, what is the capital of Brazil? Brasilia. Brasilia, just in time. What time is it now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> £30. <laughs> well done, Dave. All uh, right, Britain, Dave. Please, Jim. Sorry? Britain, please, Jim. Yes, sir. Come on, Reese. Britain. OK, Reese. 
Well, another one for Bullseye. It's gone in affairs, Jim. Are you ready, David? You'll get this one, no problem. In which Texas town did the so-called religious prophet David Koresh hold out for 51 days against the FBI? Wimhole. It's not, look, and we've got a light here, Pat. You can have £30 if you can tell me. Is it Waco, Jim? Waco or Waco, yes, absolutely right. £30 you've got. Well, we've got jointly in the lead, Andre and Pat and Chico and Dave with £30 each. Round two, questions worth £50 each. A little more difficult. What are the dart players going to do now about this bullseye challenge? Let's see. Choose a subject that's lit. Pat? Sport, please, Jim. Sport, Andre? That's a bullseye! <laughs> In which sport do women compete for the Curtis Cup? Is it tennis, Jim? The lights can come on, I think, and we've got a light at the end, David. You can have £50. Golf, Jim. Golf gives you a £50 bonus. Well played. We move on. It's Dave for Chico. Um, Britain, please, Jim. Britain. Britain you shall have. That's a bullseye! <laughs> Highland Games are traditional Scottish outdoor gatherings. In which Scottish village is the most celebrated gathering held? Braemar. Braemar, well done, sir, gives you £50. <laughs> yes, I thought that was well worth it. Good. We move on. David? Faces, please, Jim. Faces. Carice, faces. Well, that's gone into places. Lucky. And the, the subject's category. gone. Thank you, Tony, which gives us, at the end of that round, we've got in the lead Chico and Dave with £280. Move on to round three, where the questions are now worth £100 each. And, of course, the categories, well, look at them, well spread. We've got their showbiz, history, words, spelling and faces. For the last time on this board, Pat, choose for Andre. Faces, please, Jim. No, it's gone into books. The subject's gone, Jim. OK. We move on. Dave for Chico. Words, please, Jim. Words, please. Yeah, Chico. Sensible, that's 50. 50 pounds on words you have, played it safe. For a further 100 pounds, Dave, what word describes animals that eat both plants and meat? Omnivores, Jim. Omnivores gives you 100 pounds. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we move on. Still very early days, I promise you, boys. David for Reese. Showbiz, please, Jim. Yes, sir. Showbiz, please, Reese. Yes, 50. 50, you're gone. In which film did George Lazenby play James Bond? <laughs> There's a light on there for £100, Pat. Is it on Her Majesty's service? Sorry, Pat, it's not enough for £100. We can offer it to the remaining brain who hasn't answered this question. Dave, answer the question. On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Secret was the word we wanted. For £100, we didn't need it. I'm awfully sorry, Pat. £100 you've got. OK. There we are. Which gives us, at the end of game one, look, let's look at the scores. David and Reese with £100. Pat and, and Andre with £230. But well in the lead at the moment. Dave and Chico with £530. Well played. <laughs> All right, you're doing well. Um, we move on. A bit sorry for Pat there, but for £100, we really had to be fairly pedantic about that. Sorry about that. Now we ask the three dart players to, to compete in three rounds of darts against each other to win for the partners a question, and the value of that question is the winning score. All to play for, through to Bullish Prize Board. Over to Tony. Thank you. Andre? Yes, Trouble 20. 20. And 19 gives you 99. Well done. <laughs> That's your coat. 99. Trouble 20. One. And 20, 81. <laughs> 99, the score to beat. 
20. And 12. Unlucky gives you 52, but with 99, Andre takes the first round. OK, Pat, here we go. For £99, you can still catch your, your next door neighbour here, sir. Here we go, Pat. Which type of carp are highly prized amongst fish and can grow up to three feet in length with distinctive colouring? Koi carp. Koi carp. I've got some myself. They're not koi, they're just a bit shy. That's right. <laughs> 91 pounds, you've got 329, but still in the lead with 530. Dave and Chico back to Tooley. Second round. It's five. Treble 20. And five gives you 70. OK, Chico. 70, the score to beat. It's five. Trouble 20. And that's two unlucky, that's 67. So it's still 70 this leading race. 20. 20. And 20, 60, unlucky, but with 70, Andre takes the second round, Jim. Coming back, Pat, come on now, here we go. General knowledge, sir. What name is given to the first day of Lent, Pat? Is it Ash Wednesday? Ash Wednesday gives you 70 pounds, you're catching up. Still 530 in the lead, Dave and Chico all to play for round three, back to Tony. OK, Andre, final round. <laughs> Treble 20. 20. And one unlucky, 81 score. Chico, it's the score to beat. 20. Unlucky. And treble one, 23. Reese, the score to beat is 81. 20. Treble one, which is 28, so with 81, it's Andre taking the last round, Jim. You've had a great game too, Andre and Pat. Here you go, Pat, for another £81. It's not enough to take you through, but it's worth giving us a correct answer for £81. What was pioneered by inventor Clarence Birdseye? I want the whole answer. Frozen foods. Good man, gets you £81. Gives you... Let's look at the scores. We've got Reese and David with £100. Coming up on the rails there, Pat and Andre with £480, but through to Bullish Prize Board tonight with £530, it's Dave and Chico. Very well played. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Which means, sadly, we've got to say cheerio to Andre and Pat and Reese and David. In you come. Uh, oh, very good. Well played. Well played. Come on, David. Well played. Well played. Very well played. You've given... ITV on Saturday night, something special to start with. That's excellent. £100 for Reese and David, £480 for you two, all right. But a difficult decision for Chico and Dave. May well be back. We'd, we'd like to see you back in two minutes. <laughs> This is the bullseye wire. Now, as you know at home, it's Ron Fulton. We've got a gentleman throwing with us. He's been with us before. He's captain of the London squad and he's an England team member. We wish him all the best because it ain't easy for these professionals. 301 or more, we'd like him to get it. Please give him a warm round of encouragement. Graham Miller! <laughs> nice and steady, Graham. Come on, Come on. Thank you. Nice applause there, Graham. OK, then. That's a lot, mate, yeah. 20. 20. And treble 20. Well done. Good job. <laughs> Same again. <laughs> 20. <laughs> treble 20. <laughs> and 20. 100. <laughs> well done. Keep it going. Five. Twenty. 
and 20.45. Just trying to get to that. Still two and forty-five. Good luck. Thank you. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome once again. Let me see it. We've got two, four, five. Where's it going, Pico? It's to the Morecambe local branch of the arthritis care. Right, we know there's a place there. There's a lot of good work for that. That's on its way at the end of the programme. All right. Well played. This fellow's a fair player, as you know. That's right, yeah. If, 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 yeah, I know you have. I know you've known one of them. Not easy, that, is it? No, it isn't. No, it just no. gets nine, and it's <laughs> live or die by that nine, and we know, you know we don't cheat it. We don't, we don't let you have any... It's too hard. It is, isn't it? <laughs> It's good Not if you do. too hard. Nice if you do it. Never mind. Right. Nice to have you with us. Thanks for coming. No, You're always welcome on the programme. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir. Cheers, I'm always going to wish the boys all the best. What about checking out? Good. Look after yourselves. Cheers, Give them a wave as you go off, Graham. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Yay, hey, that's nice. All right. Here we go. It looks as though Lancashire could well have a good night tonight. It's uh, Bullish Prize Board. Let's see what we've got in store for these two lads tonight. In one. Bet you can't wait to get your paws on this. It's a programmable <laughs> video recorder. In two. No more back-breaking, law-breaking. It's a hover-vac and trimmer. In three. Let the chain take the strain. A 24-inch boys' mountain bike. In four. For rock on the run or classics up close, it's an intimate personal stereo. In five. No more waiting for your case to come up. Here's three <laughs> luxury replacements for you. Six. We'll stitch you up good and proper with this automatic sewing machine. In seven. Your kids won't truck with anything else when they see this battery-powered Mercedes truck. In eight. Start the day fully teed up with this luxury tease made. And Bully's special prize. Clean up in the kitchen with this modern, state-of-the-art dishwasher. Okay, there you are. <coughs> now then. <coughs> Let me tell you the story. You've heard it for 13 years, I've still got to say it again. You keep out of the black and in the red, nothing in this game for two in the bed. Red sectors are where the prizes are. Don't forget bully special prize if you think, if you'd like to do it. Nine darts you've got, six for Chico and three for Dave. All right. You should do very well here, gentlemen. Here we go. OK, just take your time, Chico. Nice and easy. Best of luck. That's a bullseye! Yeah. Yeah. Just keep out, man. Keep out. Okay, compose yourself. Red number one. The video recorder. Yes. <laughs> Just in the black. I'd love it. There you go. Well played, boys. You're going well. Two and three. Not a problem. Okay, Good for your lights now, boys. Red number four. Fine. That's the personal stereo. You're thinking, boys, these are what you want. Black. Black again. Oh. Unlucky. Right in the way. Still doing very well. Okay, three to go, Chico. Go for your last, count. Chico. <laughs> Red number there five. You got it. The set of suitcases. Black. But that's red, it's number Mine six. It's number six, that's a sewing machine. Let's have a look at what you've won. A video recorder, a personal stereo, a matching set of suitcases, the sewing machine, and Bully's special prize, that dishwasher. Very well played. OK. Now, lads. Oh, dear. You have... As well as those prizes, five great prizes, you've, you've also got £530. I'm asking you to, to consider the whole package. Do you want to gamble the whole package against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? You need 101 or more with six darts. Dave would go first and then, then you, Chico. All right, if you do it, you get the lot. If not, you get BFH, which is quite a way back to Carnforth, but it's not anywhere near as much as that lot, is it? You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you want to do. Help them, help them. What do you think? Look at the girls. Look at your wives. Look at your wives. Look at your wives. Listen to them. Listen to them. I've got to tell you, around, they've looked at the ladies. They've got two lovely ladies in the audience who are with them, and they've told them what to do. <laughs> well, are they going to I I listen to them or ignore them? Speak to me, Chico. I'm going to gamble. You're going to... They say, go for it, so go for it. Dave first, and then Chico. OK, Dave. Settle into it. Big gamble, but it's 101 or more. Any time. 
order to it. You take tonight's star prize. Settle in. Best of luck. Twenty. Twenty. And twenty six. Yes! Yes! Still think about Good it, Chico. Though it's 41 or more. Best of luck. It's five. Twenty. And twenty! Yes. Yes. You got it! You got it! Have a look at what you've won! Have a look at this! Yes, it's a wonderful holiday for four with hire car in Orlando, Florida. You'll be staying close to the center and yet just a stone's throw from the world famous SeaWorld, Universal Studios and Disney World. Or if it's space you want, why not boldly go to the Kennedy Space Center? Orlando, Florida, where the present meets the future. And it's yours for the throw of a dart. You all right? Yes? Well, I do. Yep. I think, I think I heard these two contestants say, super smashing great. We are delighted. Thanks very much indeed for watching Bullseye. Another winner. Great charity throw. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching Bullseye. Watch us next week on Bullseye, because Saturdays wouldn't be the same without a bit of bully, would it? See you next week. Bye. Good day. Good day.